video because it's going to be my very first Valentine's Day video for this year. So I have some decorations going on in my background. I searched my closet high and low for something either red or pink or just Valentine's Day color and I found that I don't own anything pink which is extremely crazy because pink was my favorite color for like the first 15 years of my life and I don't own anything pink but I did find this shirt and I put it on just for you guys because I wanted my intro to be very festive. Today I'm going to be showing you a few DIY recipes for Valentine's Day. So last year I did a video on DIY gummy hearts for Valentine's Day and you guys really seemed to enjoy it so I thought I'd make something a little bit more elaborate this year. So for this video I decided to kind of go all out and show you guys how to make your very own candy bars at home. They're all really easy to make. I'm going to show you how to make Kit Kat bars, Twix bars, and Reese's cups and they're all ridiculously easy. Ridiculously. I can't talk. I'm sorry. It's really late. Anyways, they're all really easy. You don't have to bake anything and I just feel like giving away candy on Valentine's Day. Like It's a tradition but if you want to give someone special candy for Valentine's Day and you make it yourself and you kind of package it really nicely, it's going to mean a lot more than just like going to the store and buying a bunch of candy for that person. If you make it yourself, it's gonna mean so much more to them, trust me. So anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Like I said, I'm gonna show you the recipes and at the very end of the video, I'm gonna show you how I package them and how I'm going to give them away. So if you're interested, make sure you keep watching and I really hope you guys enjoy. So starting off with our peanut butter cups, all you're going to need is some peanut butter, some chocolate that you can melt, powdered sugar, as well as some small baking cups to put them in. So to start off, just go ahead and place your baking cups inside either a bowl or some sort of pan or baking pan where they will hold upright as I'm doing here. And now you're going to break open your chocolate bar or your chocolate chips or any kind of melting chocolate that you're going to be using. Break it up and place it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or until it melts. And you have to be really careful because it is very easy to burn this. So make sure you watch it and once the 30 seconds are up, you're going to want to stir it and just double check if you need to place more time on it. But it should be melted and the heat from the plate will usually melt any other pieces that are still like solid. So after your chocolate is melted, you're going to place about one teaspoonful of chocolate in each little baking cup. And that's going to be the kind of bottom part of our peanut butter cup. And then you're going to take the same spoon and kind of move the chocolate so it covers the sides if that makes sense so it will be covered on the sides as well and it's not just exposed peanut butter in the center but once you're finished doing that you're going to place them into the fridge or you're just gonna let them cool depending on where you live but where I live is extremely hot so I placed mine in the fridge so they would cool and while that was happening I started to prepare my peanut butter mixture for the center so you're gonna add equal parts powdered sugar and equal parts peanut butter so I did three tablespoons and three tablespoons kind of as you can see here I don't really measure my things too well anyways you're gonna do equal parts of each and then you're just going to stir them until it is an even mixture so once the chocolate has hardened we are ready for what is my favorite part of the entire process and it's to fill the peanut butter cups so you're gonna grab about half a teaspoon of the peanut butter mixture or an entire teaspoon you know you can add as many or as little as you like that's a fun part of making your own candy you could do it to your own taste anyways you're going to fill them and then you're going to kind of flatten the mixture with your fingers so it's easier to cover with the chocolate and once that's done you're going to grab the remaining chocolate and you're going to cover the peanut butter mixture so we have proper peanut butter cups with chocolate on the bottom, chocolate on the sides, and chocolate on the top. So just go ahead and make sure that all the edges are covered as well as the top and you're basically done with these. They're super easy to make. By the way, they taste even better than the real thing. If that's even possible, they do. Anyways, to finish these up, all you have to do is give them a little shake to make sure the chocolate is covering the edges, and again, place them in the fridge and wait till they harden. So once you take them out of the fridge, they're basically done, and this is the perfect DIY gift for any peanut butter lovers in your life. They will love this, I promise. Up next, we're going to be making DIY Kit Kat bars, and these are so, so easy to make. You're only going to need two ingredients, which are vanilla wafer bars and, again, chocolate that you can melt. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to break up your chocolate bar like we have done before, and you're going to place it in the microwave and melt it. Basically the same procedure as the first recipe. So you're just going to mix it up, and then you're going to grab a lined 
baking sheet or just a plate, anything you can place your wafers on that it won't stick to. So basically the only thing you have to do after this point is dip your wafers in the melted chocolate and kind of make sure they're covered on all sides. And once they are covered, you're going to use a fork to kind of pull them out and make sure the excess chocolate drips off. Otherwise, the chocolate's going to go everywhere. And once you've done that, just place them on the cookie sheet. And that is basically all you have to do. You can just repeat this for as many Kit Kat bars as you want to make. Like I said, this is the easiest recipe out of the bunch. And if you're starting out in the kitchen, this is something that you can definitely try out. And whoever you give it to will love them. Anyways, you guys know the drill. Just grab your sheet, place it in the fridge, and wait for the chocolate to harden. And then once you've unstuck them from the cookie sheet, you are completely done. So up next, we're going to be making DIY Twix bars. And I don't know about you guys, but I have an unhealthy obsession with Twix bars. So all you're going to need is some caramel, some chocolate you can melt, and some shortbread cookies. Any shape will do. So what you're going to do is you're going to place your shortbread cookies into a kind of big rectangle shape. So you can cover it with caramel and it'll be easier later. And now you're basically going to unwrap all your caramels. I had about 20 and you're going to place those along with one teaspoon of milk into your microwave for about 30 seconds until it has melted so I actually checked after the first 20 seconds and I kind of mixed it and then I put them in the microwave for another 20 seconds so it took approximately 40 seconds in total to melt but again just be careful that you don't burn this because if you do it's not gonna be good anyways the next step is to mix your caramel until it is very smooth and you're just going to pour this mixture over your shortbread cookies in a kind of careful manner so they don't go all over the place just pour it and then you're going to smooth it until it's an even nice looking coat of caramel over your cookies so after that just put it in your fridge again you guys know how this goes just put everything in your fridge until it cools and hardens and after it's hard you're going to take it out and you're going to cut the squares into individual cookies if that makes sense it's kind of a mess so making your knife a little bit wet will make it easier so just cut them apart before we move on to our next step okay so i feel like this next step i don't really have to explain because you probably perfected your chocolate melting technique by now so basically just melt your chocolate and you're going to coat your cookie and caramel squares with your chocolate and then again just take it out with a fork making sure that you let all the excess chocolate drip off and then just place them on a cookie sheet or on a plate before you put them in the fridge again and let them cool. So I definitely say the hardest part of this recipe is unsticking these from the plate once they're cool. That's how easy they are to make. Anyways, that is the finished product for our Twix bars. And now I'm going to show you how I would give these away if I were going to give them away for Valentine's Day. So I found these cute little containers at Walgreens and I also bought some tissue paper to decorate with. So to make your very own customized little chocolate tin to give to your Valentine, I just lined mine with the tissue paper and then I'm just going to stack some DIY Kit Kat bars as well as some Reese's peanut butter cups in there and I just covered it with the remaining tissue paper and that's basically it. I feel like this is such a cute present because you can just add your Valentine's favorite type of candy and you know they're just going to love it because you made it yourself. As for the little heart-shaped boxes that I bought, I made an extra batch of these heart-shaped gummy bears that I made last year, and I will definitely include a link to my video from last year in the description box if you guys want to know how I made these. So then I put them into little baggies and I put them inside the box that I lined with some more tissue paper. And again, this is a really cute present that you can give to anyone on your Valentine's Day list that loves gummy candies. And since you made it yourself, they're going to love it so much more. And that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did or if you plan on trying any of these recipes out, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up down below. Also, you guys know the drill. If you try any of these out, make sure to send me pictures on Twitter and Instagram. They're both at Uwodu. I really want to see your pictures. So before you eat your treats or before you give them away to your friends, make sure to take a picture and send it over to me. I think that's all I have to say. Actually, if you guys have any requests, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And also in the comments, let me know what your favorite Valentine's Day gift you've ever gotten is or was. I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'm really tired. Anyways, that's everything I have to say. I send a million kisses your way. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well and you're having a really, really good day. 